help you to learn how to prep your own legumes from scratch, right? Often legumes have a bad rep uh, around gas production and stuff like that, but it's just a matter of knowing how to prep them. As well, they're so packed with proteins, fibers, and other type of minerals that we need. They're awesome to keep in your freezer. So here we go, how you go uh, to make sure you have uh, legumes and you can use them as a, uh, an extra source of proteins. So let's say you use chickpeas or black beans or what else? Um, uh, lima beans, white beans. Uh, you have also the split peas and peas in that family of legumes, as well lentils, so French lentils or red lentils. So let's say, let's use chickpeas for tonight. So chickpeas, what you do, you take the raw uh, dried chickpeas beans and then you put them in fresh water. Make sure you rinse them once, then you let them soak for at least um, 8 to 12 hours. Usually I put them overnight. And then in the morning, you rinse your chickpeas. Then after that, you put them in a pot you cover with water and you cook them for at least uh, 45 to up to an hour, depending how crunchy you want them. Then it's cooked. Uh, what you do, you put them in a strainer, you rinse them again to make sure that those particles that make them um, to, to have like a bloated belly, goes away and then they're all ready. So first step, you soak them, you rinse them, you cook them, you rinse them again and then they're ready. So what to do from there? You can either use them right away to make a hummus. What else can you do? You could use them in any dish that you're preparing. So for example, you make a stir fry, add some cooked uh, chickpeas, you make a soup, you can add a cup of chickpeas in them, either you uh, blend them with the soup or you add them like as extra um, pieces, chunks in your soup. You can add them as well in muffins. You can put them pretty much everywhere. Let's say you don't want to use them right away. What about you pack them in small portions, like one cup at a time, they're already cooked, you already soak them and everything, and you freeze them so that they're ready for your next meal in the next few weeks. The other thing I wanted to mention to you, let's go back to the first step, you soak them. Imagine you soak them and in the morning you rinse them, you drain them, you rinse them, then you leave them on the counter for another day. And then you rinse them again at night and once in the morning you drain them and you leave them on the counter. What happens? A baby chickpea is going to grow out of the chickpeas, that's called sprouting. So that's another way you use your chickpeas. You can sprout them. Uh, it takes between, you know, three to five days, depending. And then you see a little germs coming out of the chickpeas that is packed with nutrients. The beauty of sprouts, it's kind of an expansion of all the rich uh, ingredients that you find in a legume or in a chickpea, for example, because uh, it concentrates everything the seeds need to, to need to have to become a plant, okay? So you could learn how to sprout from there. I hope this little tutorial helped you. So try to eat more legumes, go slow, step by step, and make sure you do all those important rinsing part and you should be all to go. One more tip. Some people do help with the gas production effect of legumes. They add either cumin seeds in the water of cooking or you can add pieces of seaweed as well. That helps um, to, to remove the particles that are making us suffer from uh, belly bloating. I hope this helped. If you like that video, make sure you like it. Also, make sure you subscribe to my blog at uh, www.angeliquebinet.com for more tips and tricks around cooking. And I hope you have a good day.